Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Today I'm going to answer a very frequent question about um, scrolling to transporters between adjacent maps of different sizes. Because in the last tutorial I explained how to connect adjacent maps together by uh, um, with scrolling to transporters, but um, you will have a small problem as soon as your maps have different sizes. So let's take an example. We imagine the world map of a very small game with three maps. This map, uh, which is the south part of the world. This one is the north northwest part and this one northeast. So as you can see, th th the south part has twice the size of the others. And uh, so okay, when preparing this tutorial, I I made teletransporters to scroll between maps. So if, if I remove the trees here, I have a teletransporter here scrolling to the northwest part and this one to the northeast. Okay? So Everything is normal so far, and the other two maps also have their teletransporters to connect them all together. But let's see why we can have a problem here. Nope, I don't want to go here. Ah, oh, it's because I have to uh, remove my save game file. Just a second. Okay. Uh, I must have made something wrong here. Initial game scrolling slash south. <coughs> nope. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the name of the map is world underscore s. Sorry, sorry. Okay. <coughs> so I'm on this map for now. The map is bigger than the screen. And I can go north, no problem so far. I can go east, everything is okay. But between these two maps, oh, what happened? So what happens is that the engine doesn't know how to connect the northeast map with the south map. So because you didn't uh, specify any particular information, it just assumes that the northeast part uh, is connected with the south part here uh, um, at this coordinate zero. And the solution is very simple. You just have to fill the location in its world property of your maps. So. Let's start with northwest. Um, we just have to imagine that they are all in the same uh, bigger uh, space, and and we have to fill the coordinate of their uh, of each map in this space. Okay, and the tooltip explains useful to make adjacent scrolling maps. So this one is already at zero zero northwest. Since its size is three hundred and twenty, this one will be at location three hundred and twenty. Save. And the south map will be <coughs> um zero two hundred and fifty six. And that's it. It should work now.
Yep, no problem. Great. So it was, ju it was just a s uh, very short tutorial to answer this common question. Because a lot of people can have the problem. And maybe you didn't know um, the purpose of this field. And one last remark, um, when you have three maps uh, separated by a T like this, um, I put some trees here to block the player. I don't want to scroll too close to the, the center of the teletransporters here because there is no way for the camera to be correct in this case. I'm, I'm going to show you why. So if I if I go here, still works. But um, as you can guess, since the camera scrolls in the map here, it's impossible to make a correct transition here because the camera the camera is stuck here because of the border of the map. So it's your responsibility to uh, put something <laughs> here so that the hero cannot get too close when scrolling. Okay, so that's why I put all these trees like this and like this. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the in the comments of the video or better on the Soraus forums. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye.